I'm just going to get this guitar shit out of the way so I don't have to put it back on. Here's a little southern song I sing uh, when I work in the deep south. Bubba the Grand Dragon lived in Mississippi and frolicked round the burning cross shouting bring back slavery. Little Neo Nazis sick high up when there he came. And they go out and beat the crap out of some guy with a Jewish name. Bubba the Grand Dragon shall for conspiracy. He incited his little friends to murder two or three. Now he'll spend life in prison, but he's made new friends. Our races and queens all take turns at Papa's right rear end. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I'm an old time rocker and uh, I'm gonna close off with a couple of old time rock songs. You make my bowels loose. You make everything loose. Produce, you move me. <laughs> This is Paul McCartney for Safe Sex. Suffolies. And all I wanted was a little kiss. Now it hurts me when I take a piss. I believe in prophylactics. <laughs> oh, you're very kind. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, uh... I don't know. I, I, by the way, I've checked out many, many different religions because being brought up Jewish, I feel I should shop around for the best deal I can get. And uh, I was doing the Ouija board the other day. I was doing the Ouija board, and we got in contact with Davy Crockett on the Ouija board. And you're going to be very interested to hear Davy updated me on that Disney song. His remember that Disney song went through all those movies? Well, since Davy died at the Alamo and his last reincarnation, there's a new verse to that song, and it goes like this. Davy, Davy. Crockett, king of the wild frontier, shot by a bullet right through the head, kept on fighting, didn't know he was dead, what a surprise when he came back again, this time he was a Mexican, Davy, Davy Hernandez, busted by the border patrol, Thank you. I love religious music, you obviously, uh, this is something that gets me. You know, in the Bible, it says that the body is the temple of the soul. The body is the temple of the soul, and you shouldn't destroy anything that's part of the temple of the soul. And scientists tell us that every time we do drugs and alcohol, we destroy thousands of brain cells. And that really bothered me, too, till I found out that scientists also tell us we only use 10% of our brains. I put that together. God knows what he's doing. God gave us the other 90% of our brains for drugs and alcohol. <laughs> Thank you, I, I thought of that while I was an acid, so I know it's true. Yeah, another thing it says in the Ten Commandments, it says, thou shalt not take God's name in vain. And I was doing that. I was saying things like, Jesus Christ and God damn, I thought, this is ridiculous. I'm breaking a commandment here. From now on, I'll use nicer expletives. Anyway, I was on a spiritual quest in India, and I stubbed my toe in a rock, and I went, Holy cow! And these Hindus beat the shit out of me! You <laughs> damn Jesus Christ, Pastor, what's wrong with you? <laughs> hey, I'm not picking on the Hindus. I dig the Hindus. I like the way they chant, Aum. That's what the religious Hindus do. They chant, Aum. Those are the religious Hindus. Then there's the atheist Hindus. That's more like, uh -oh. <laughs> They're not buying it. Although I was brought up Jewish, happens I believe in the teachings of Jesus, but the reason I believe in the teachings of Jesus has nothing to do with an evangelist. You see, my problem with Christianity was I just couldn't buy the miracles till I tried mushrooms. <laughs> then all of a sudden, walking on water didn't seem out of line. <laughs> mushrooms, they grow overnight on cow patties. Boom, overnight, what a miracle. First time I tried mushrooms, I went, whoa, the Hindus are right. Holy cow. <laughs> By the way, you do have to remember. Backwards is. Oh, oh yeah. But um, I, know, I know it's not popular to talk about drugs, but frankly, I feel I have the right to because I'm a pusher. And uh, I am. What are you drinking alcohol?
alcohol, hey, I love alcohol, but give me a break. It's a much more physically damaging drug than marijuana. And my reasoning for this goes thusly. I've never been to a party and seen somebody smoke enough marijuana that he threw up on the carpet. Now, he may be the guy admiring it. <laughs> that's beautiful. What is that, a carpet door? Yeah, that's great. I'll just put my drink right there. <laughs> Another thing, you know, a glass of pure alcohol, 200 proof alcohol, one glass could kill you, two, three glasses of pure alcohol, you're dead. But for the last 20 years, on and off, I had smoked what people insisted was killer shit. Epstein, this is killer shit. And I swear to you, not once, even a coma. And if it really was killer shit, I couldn't afford it, not at California price. Epstein, this is killer shit. Well, man, I can't afford that. Can you just sell me enough to make me a cripple? But, uh, but I, I can't do it anymore. I, I'm too paranoid, you know? I'm one of these people, when I get high, I think everybody could tell, you know? I, my mother called me one day, happened to be on mushrooms at the time, and uh, <laughs> me, not my mother. <laughs> and she clicks over to the other line, she comes back, she goes, Steve, it's your aunt in Florida. She wants to know when you're coming down. I'm like, how the fuck did she know? <laughs> When I first started doing drugs, everybody in showbiz was doing drugs. All the big showbiz acts were doing drugs. Like, why don't we go get a picnic basket, Yogi? <laughs> Sorry, boo boo! But all of a sudden, I'm not hungry no more! Hey! <laughs> yeah, I, I, see, I started comedy with Sam Kinison, and I gotta tell you, when Sam got rich, it snowed every day. And uh, me and him and Bill Hicks, another guy you saw back there, we were plowing through a blizzard for a few days. And, and at the end of the, I'm on my knees after like two days just, just praying to God. I'm like, oh God, I don't want to die. Not now. Not yet. I still got a gram and a half I haven't finished. Dangerous. Ecstasy, they got this legal herbal ecstasy. I don't like it. It makes me all, it's like drink 20 cups of coffee. It's cheaper. But, uh, but I tried that when it was legal and, it, and I, I loved it, boy. I mean, you love everything. Of course you're going to love it. You love everything when you're on that shit. You love, as a matter of fact, marriage counselors were accomplishing in, more, in one therapy session on ecstasy than six months without because you could fall in love with a friggin' fire hydrant on ecstasy. <laughs> But they made it illegal. Reagan said it gave you symptoms of Parkinson's disease. And I said, no, that's not true. <laughs> Parkinson's disease, you're crazy. <laughs> you're not laughing, you don't know what Parkinson's disease is. <laughs> Frankly, that, I think that's uh, why they made it illegal. It's like Reagan's going, well, it's, it's not like I do. <laughs> Nancy thinks I'm just saying no. 